Spring is finally here and warm weather is just around the corner. And with warm weather, it's time to dust off the grill and have a get together with your friends and family. Summer has also become synonymous with games, such as cornhole and ladder ball. For this month's Extreme DIY, we're gonna build our own cornhole and ladder ball games out of 8020T slotted profiles. So join Andrew and I as we build these awesome solutions. Now we've got all of our parts laid out and we're ready to jump in. Now to begin, I figured we'd tackle the cornhole boards first. And to do that, we're gonna start by building the legs. That's right, Andrew. I've got the legs started right here, and all I'm gonna do is make sure I put this down with this nice smooth surface. That's gonna help make sure that my connections are even and everything's squared. I'm gonna go on ahead and tighten this down and we can move forward. Now once we have that tightened down, we're gonna install our pivot nubs. These are gonna allow us to slide our legs underneath the cornhole board for easy transport and storage. Now, Andrew, I have a question. Why wouldn't we have just built the frame first and then put the legs on after that? You know, that's a good question. We want to be able to slide the legs onto the profile first because if we build the frame first, the profile ends will be blocked and we won't be able to get the T-nuts in. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we have the legs in place and tightened down, we're ready to start the frame. And to do that, we're going to start at the legs and work our way forward on the board. Now we'll simply grab our profiles and slide them into place and tighten them down with our end fasteners. The great thing about the end fasteners, Andrew, is that they create a nice, clean, hidden connection and they're one of 8020's most popular fastening options. Mm -hmm. So let's go on ahead and get this bar onto this frame. Sounds good. All right, before we put on our last bar, we're gonna put our center support into place for the panel. That's right, Andrew. I'm gonna go on ahead and slide the center support up here, and I'm gonna start tightening it down. Okay. Now, the reason we've added this center support is that way it will keep the panel from vibrating and making any noise as we're using this board. That's a great idea. Now, once we're done with that, we're gonna take our last bar and finish off the frame. All right, now that we have the frame finished up, we're ready for the panel. If you just wanna grab it behind you there, Phil. Here you go, Andrew. We'll go ahead and get that lined up. T-nuts into the open T-slot, slide it on there. Andrew, I do have a question. Yeah. Are these panels regulation size? Yeah, they're the same ones they use in the tournament, so you don't have to worry about anything there. You know, I've built several wooden cornhole boards before, mm -hmm. and I know that they require sanding, lacquered, and painting. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I have to say is 8020 makes this so much easier to build and complete. You know, they do, and I really like this panel because they countersink the bolts into it so nothing can get snagged on it while you're playing. You know, another great thing about these panels also is the fact that if anything happens to this, it gets scratched or damaged, or we just want to change the color, mm -hmm. we can go ahead and slide this right out and put a new one right in its place. All right, I'm good on my end. How are you looking? I'm looking really good on this end. All right, well, one last thing we want to do is put some end caps on. That'll be perfect. End caps are going to give this a nice, clean finish, and we'll be finished after that point. All right, sounds good. And there we have it, a nice, good-looking cornhole board that's clean and ready to use. All right. I say we're ready to start on that ladder ball game. You know, that one should be a breeze. It should. Let's go. All right. All right, Andrew, we've got everything here ready to go to build our ladder ball stand. Mm -hmm. Now, why would we use T-slotted profiles to build a ladder ball stand instead of some typical PVC? Well, with your PVC, it can be pretty flimsy and fall apart pretty quickly. With T-slot, it's going to withstand a lot more wear and tear and be lightweight at the same time. That's a really good point, Andrew. And I see that you got everything pretty much preloaded here, um, except for one bar. I'm going to go on ahead and do this really quick. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that you're using the end fastener yes. again for this one. So why would you use the end fastener again? You know, I love the strength of it, but at the same time, it's a hidden connection. So nothing's going to get caught on it while we're playing the game. All right, that's a really good point. So I just finished that one up. Let's go on ahead and start with our cross supports, mm -hmm. and let's get everything going. All right. Here's that one. We'll get that sidebar on. And then we'll start sliding in these ladder rungs one by one. All right, Andrew, I have the crossbars all done and tightened down, mm -hmm. and now we're ready to proceed. All right, that went pretty smoothly. So now that we got the frame done, we just need to put our feet on. That's right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the feet, 
I'm going to slide them over the end fastener here, okay. and then I'll tighten everything down, and we'll be ready to go. All right, once you have that done, we'll finish up with some end caps, and then we'll be ready to put our project to use. All right, Andrew, we got everything done. These are some great looking solutions. They're durable, they're weather resistant, and they're gonna last through some heavy use. Yep, let's get these outside and put them to use. Let's go. All right. We hope you found these simple solutions helpful, and we look forward to seeing you again next time. For more information on these projects, or if you'd like to design and build your own outdoor games, please visit 8020.net. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe for future 8020 videos. And as always, make it a great day.